let me show you how you can design a form in excel and how you can set pretty cool feature so take a look the moment you open this excel this form open now this portion that how i have opened the form and how i am ensuring that people can only make entry of you know numeric here not anything and if the numeric is between 1000 to 9999 how you are doing that this part i have explained you in the workout one as well and how i'm ensuring that this only can select whatever is available here this is also i have explained you now for the sake of completion i'll again cover that very quickly the focus of this particular video is actually these two take a look there are some pretty cool feature is happening here so let me just show you quickly what is happening out here so let's say you know you do not select anything it will give you a message that please select satisfaction level you selected say neutral it is saying please select some subject now look at here it says select up to three subject you will be interested in having training let's say i selected just one of them okay this is my second this is my third and i selected fourth see what happened it gave you error message that you can select up to three subjects only and everything again became blank if i try to submit it will say select some subjects so if you look at it is forcing you to select at least one subject and you know if you try to select more than three subject everything is becoming blank right let's select that you know i select sas programming classification tree using r and let's say cl cluster analysis using r now you submit it let's see what is happening look at it is showing all the data that you have done so it is selecting 330 it is showing that you have selected neutral and you have selected sas programming classification tree using r cluster analysis using r so it is able to find out what you have selected now let me explain you that how i have been able to make this and how it is actually operating one more thing you need to understand it is asking you do you want to proceed yes or no so it is giving you two options and the moment you say no nothing happens the moment you say yes it will gain go into the database so now let me go and explain you that how this is operating everything is operating these two part fairly simple but anyway once again i'll cover very quickly so first of all what you need to understand there are two named ranges here this is the list of functions which is fetching into the combo box where i'm selecting department and this is the list of course list which is fetching into the list box now let me go ahead and explain you the form so look at the form opened because as soon as workbook opened i have put that user form dot so and that's why when the excel opened it showed the form that you know anyway and even these two portions you know anyway this is the text box and here is the combo box where i have put style equal to two two and that's why it forces you to make selection from here because of row source it selects data from the this list that that is here so if you look at this from this list it is selecting because in the row source i have put function list now coming back to that how this is operating for this what you need to understand this is nothing but a frame this is actually a frame command you look at here it's showing frame and within that frame i have put these option buttons so actually these each one is an option button look at each one is op option button and i have set the name also neutral and the caption also neutral and that's what you see here and in reality it actually works as whatever you select that becomes uh, i should say true otherwise everything is false so if you select satisfied it is satisfied becomes true because it is put in a frame this whole thing is put in a frame look at this is put into a frame that's what ensures that only one of them can be true you can't select anything more let me show it to you you go here load the form what you will realize you know that you can actually only one you can select
select only one of them right something more how i am ensuring this so row sorts you know pretty well that okay row sorts is subjects course list and that's why you are getting this but how i have ensured that you know by just click you can select these so for that there are two things you need to do in the option box one is that you need to go and allow multi select okay in multi select you have two option actually if you look at if you put zero you will not be able to select anything let me show it to you so if you try to run this time you know if you try to run you can only select one of them because i have put option one in the multi select that's not you want what you want you want multiple so you go to multi select and this time you put two see what will happen now it will allow you to do multi select but in that case again once again what will happen this time that you know you'll have to actually press control button otherwise you know it will be one so unless you press control you can't select multiple the best option in our case is actually option one so if you put option one without pressing control button also you can select this so let's say i go to multi select and i selected one with one by you just mouse click you can select it so now if you run this form by just mouse click because without even pressing control you can keep selecting now let me explain you how it is ensuring that you can't select more than three so now let me go ahead and explain you everything that is happening out here so just see how this is happening that you know it is forcing you to select something so for this let me just make some entry here and let me select some two things here so i selected this you know and it gave you error right so what i have done here if you look at in this user form 1 i am first i'm checking that if this employee id is non numeric or if it is more than 9999 or less than 1000 it's giving you error now how this is operating this form option you know this this particular option so what i have done here that you know i am say checking that if user form dot satisfied dot value is true then you know satis that said just a string variable is satisfied if it is neutral is true then satisfied then what you need to understand if these two are true if this is not happening this this must be true so i am checking here that if user form dot dissatisfied dot value is false which should not happen if you have made any selection then you know it's saying please select satisfaction level and it is exiting the function and that's the reason it forces you to make at least one selection in the whole option and understand this if this is not happening then it is bound to happen that this is actually true means you have selected dissatisfied so that's how it is happening so if you are not selecting anything it will come out here because you know then this is actually true it's false this is also false but this is happening true this satisfied is false so it will give you error message now let me show you that how i have been able to ensure that you can select only three of them for that i have used the change event of this particular list box let me explain you how this happens for any of the control you have change event and you can use that for example let's go here and i select this right you double click by default is the change and you can say message box let's say you selected let me show you how you can use that event so what is happening the moment you change it right the moment you change it it will give you error mess a, a message so is you go here you selected risk you do anything let's say you know you go here so every time the change is happening it is giving an error mess message a, a message just a message so what you need to understand